Hey guys, hey, SkyT here, and in today's episode, I'm going to teach you guys how to make blocks float with magnets. So let's get started. First, what you're going to want to do is enter build mode, and we're going to go over and we're going to get a seat. I got any seat will work, but for this tutorial, I'm going to be using an armored seat, and we're going to head over to frame. And we are going to get the block 4x8. And we're going to put two of these right here. This is just a, a little platform. And uh, from here, we're going to head over to gadgets. And then we are going to get a tractor beam. Oh, and I'm just going to move this over to the one of the corners like that. And then put it three blocks up. And then from here, we're going to go to Mechanic, and then Detachable Block. We're going to put it right here, and we're going to go to Frame, and then get two Block 1x2s to make a Block 1x4, or 1x2x2, technically. Alright, and now from here, we're going to go to our Dynamics. And we're gonna get a wedge, face that right there, or rotate it right there so it's facing up. And we're gonna go to frame, and we're gonna get two more block one by twos, and place it like that. Alright, now we're going to select this detachable block, the press copy, or insert if you're on PC. And we're gonna drag that over here, paste it again so it's like that. Alright. So now, what we're going to do is select everything besides or all the detachable blocks that's from at the bottom by holding Ctrl and double clicking. And after that, what we're going to do is go into here, select configure, and under the input, we're going to click toggle, and we're not going to have any delay. And now, right here, what we're going to do is select this. And we're going to click make scrap and we are also going to toggle that on with a delay of 0.02 and when we click space as you can see it is floating in place you can uh, connect it to pistons you can connect it to a car or like a bike which I'll show you in a little bit you can uh, make shields that float and stuff it's really cool so you guys should really check it out and now I'm going to showcase a couple vehicles that I have made with it. So let's get started. And here is a trike I made with the, uh, the floating magnets. I will link this in the description of the video. It, um, it uses servos to use wireless controls so I can send, um, I guess, inputs to the floating blocks. I'm not connecting to them. It's really slow for some reason when you use engines with wheels on parts that detach. The, the wheels don't have proper physics and they sink into the ground and there's no, um, I don't know, there's something missing and it just makes it go really slow. And next, I'm going to be showing you guys a hovercraft with hovering hovercraft makers that are connected to hovering hovercraft hover, hover makers. So let's get started with that. Here is my hovering hovercraft with hover makers connected to hovering hover hovercraft makers. <laughs> it's complicated. All right, this one takes a uh, couple tries to spawn in correctly, but as you can see, it works really well and it is incredibly silent. From what I have heard, it isn't silent for other people, but for the person that has spawned it in, it is completely silent. And as you can see, I use hinges and servos, a combination, to use control, or to, uh, to control it and go forward and backwards. So this was just a demonstration of the vehicles that you can make by using magnets that um, connect to blocks that detach, and a little bit explanation. How it works is the magnets think that they're connected to a block. So what they're going to do is they're going to pretend that they're connected to that block and then get all close to it. Like if they were connected to that block, 
um, like in real life, but the thing is is that the block that they're connected to disappears and turns into scrap. So the magnets can't really detect that the, um, the block is turned into scrap because the developers will not fix that. So in return, we get floating magnets that uh, are relative to your vehicle. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like and check out my other tutorial videos at the end screen. And I will see you guys next time. Peace!